can feel my brain a-changing, acclimating to the madness. I can feel my outrage shifting into a dull, despondent sadness. I can feel a crust growing over my eyes like a falcon hood. I've got the normalization blues. This isn't normal, this isn't good. I'm detached and I'm distracted, all keyed up but unproductive, vacillating between being all excited and disgusted, and then dozing lackadaisically in this bubble where I've made my mental home. So, I left West Virginia this morning, and um, I drove... I drove across Ohio to Indiana. Um, I had a job site in Penville, Indiana, and uh, I had a job site in Hart Hartford City. So um, my next job site is in uh, beautiful Rochester, Indiana. So uh, I made it here just before dark. And um, the thing about Rochester, Indiana, is they have three hotels, all right, and. Um, the classiest one they have is called the Super 8. So, obviously, Rochester, Indiana is not the best place. Um, so, last time I was in Rochester, Indiana, I stayed at a place called the Rochester Inn. I'll drive by there and um, get some video footage of that tomorrow morning after I get up. It'll, it'll be pretty slick. Um, anyway, so... I booked it online, and I don't even know what the room cost, you know, I just, I just grabbed it, and, um, I pull in, and I'm like, wow, this place is a, this place is a fucking dump, so, whatever, you know, don't judge a book by its cover, I think, some people say, um, anyway, so I go to the front desk, I get the key, and when I say key, I mean key with like a dangly diamond shaped thing that says if found place in mailbox postage guaranteed super old school no key cards nothing so I go in there place didn't smell that great the office didn't at least um, so the lady gives me my key I'm in room 6 or whatever so I shoot down to room 6 and um, right before I go to put the key in the door uh, the door opens up and just kind of like barely misses me just right right in front of my face so um and and there's this this lady that's just yelling and screaming and she's carrying this big basket just full of the most disgusting laundry you could ever think of and um you know obviously i got the wrong room now uh let me tell you about the outside of this hotel it's one of those ones where all the rooms open up to the parking lot and um most of the rooms had potted plants in the windows that said, like, world's best grandma and, like, weird stuff. Like, one of the windows had a Green Bay Packers flag. Like, people live in this place, I, I'm assuming, because usually when I get a hotel room, I don't, you know, cover the window with uh, a Wake Forest Demon Deacons flag and, um put an ornamental cactus in the window, you know. So there's cats running around and shit. People are yelling. There's there's just like three-legged dogs running through the parking lot and just it, it's it's crazy. So I go down and I tell the lady, "Hey, I think you might have given me the the wrong room. You know, can I get can you check? Can I get a different key?" She's like, "Oh no, that's the right room." And I was like, "Well, there's, you know, there's a bunch of people in there." She's like, Oh, I told them that they better be gone. You know, they should have been out of here hours ago. And, you know, the first thing I'm thinking is, well, if if you didn't even know that they were gone, then you didn't walk in the room. Therefore, it's still disgusting. Anyway, she's like, oh, come on, come on. You know, well, come on. So, whatever, I follow her. And she just starts flipping out on this lady. And she's like, I told you to get out of here. I'm calling the cops. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm super uncomfortable. It was super shady. The place just... Anyway. So, the the manager lady's flipping out. And then she walks back to the office. And I'm just standing there by this, you know, wonderful person with the soiled 
clothing in a basket. And, uh, and um, I was like, you know, how long are you going to be? And she's like, oh, just like 10, 15 minutes. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run down to Walmart, you know, maybe get something to eat. I don't know. I'll be back. So uh, right before I leave there, she goes, hey, let me get that key. Just in case I get locked out while I'm moving my stuff to the car. And that, I was, that was weird. So I was like, oh, you know, I don't even have the key. The lady still has it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it when I come back. So I, I take off. I, I walk around Walmart for like 45 minutes because like I, I don't want to like, I usually don't want to like interact with anybody, especially when it's somebody being forced out of the room so that I can sleep in it for some strange scenario. I don't, I don't know if, I don't know. Anyway, so, so I get back, I open the door, the bed's still a mess. There's like empty soda cans on the, on the counter, all kinds of craziness. So I, I like, I walk back down to the office and I ask the lady, I'm like, you know, hey, did anybody clean my room? And she's like, oh yeah, 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 we cleaned it, changed the sheets and everything. And it was obvious that, you know, the room was still dirty from the people who just left. So, um, yeah, at that point I, uh, I gave the woman her keys back and, um, I found the Super 8, which is where I'm at right now. Look how beautiful the Super 8 is. It's got a big thing of artwork on the on there. You got some yellow yellow blanket, you know. It's a uh, high class for Rochester, Indiana. So, um, if you're ever planning on staying in Rochester, Indiana, don't. But if you're forced to, stay at the uh, stay at the Super 8. Which usually I never would recommend anyone staying at any Super 8 ever. But Rochester, Indiana is a dump. And there's nothing good here. So just, you know, stay at the Super 8. Okay, so I got a couple of things I need to address real quick. Um, I did go to the Rochester Inn, which I found out it's actually called the Rochester Motel. So I was incorrect with that. But um, the more important thing I want to address prior to showing you the footage of the Rochester Motel is that um, in case you listened to my story and you were not convinced that um, Rochester, Indiana is a just completely dystopian hellscape, okay? All right, keep in mind, I was at the Super 8 the high class shit last night. I walk outside after I get done recording the video about, you know, Rochester, and um, I, I immediately hear somebody making a Chewbacca sound. And um, it turned out to be this, this crazy woman who I believe was a, um, I believe she was intoxicated. Um, anyway, uh, she was acting crazy. So I had to clandestinely, you know, record her. So I got like 40 minutes of just this insane woman just acting like the craziest person on earth. And then a couple of people that didn't really speak English real well came out and um, she attacked one of them and scratched him. And, um, and then, you know, uh, it, it almost turned into a fight between a guy that didn't know how to speak English and uh, a crazy woman. I have it all recorded. So, um, I'll go ahead and play the, uh, the Rochester Motel video for you, and, um, I'll give you a little, give you a little, uh, little taste of the crazy woman in the parking lot, so if you want to stick around after the motel video, this is what you're going to check out. My Two name bucks. is Dawn, motherfucker. And that's my nails. The house, okay. Mm. Do not let him fool here, here. Oh, Come on, man. You good? Here, come here. That's stupid. Come on, man. Stupid you ass. No. You fucking did You're it. Stupid. Dude, hey. you punch me, and I'll fuck you both up. If he hits me, no, no. I Everybody's will friends. Everybody's happy. If he hits me, I'll fuck hey, you all up. We're all happy. Yeah. We're all friends. Yeah. Who is it? I'll Who fuck is it? you all up. You hey. better go call the police right now. No. Hey. Why did you yeah. say hi? Yeah. Well, uh. 
Okay. So, without further ado, here is the beautiful Rochester Motel. And don't forget, don't even come to Rochester, Indiana. There's no reason for any sane human being to ever even drive through this uh, this this wonderful place. I'm so sorry that you have to have a body. I'm so sorry that you have to have a body. Oh yeah, I'm very sorry that you have to have a body. One that will hurt you and be the subject of so much of your fear. It will betray you. Oh, how they'll screw you all up and over. 